Recorder is on. Turn you over to Ed. <laughs> Hi, Molly. Um, he's not only Ed, a drummer; Ed, he's Ed, a charter Ed expert. He's a good friend of mine. He's also <laughs> the drummer in our band, and he is a lot smarter than me. Uh, not true. Okay. And so he's going to tell you exactly what you need to do right now because he heard the whole conversation with Charter. Okay. All right. All right. So ready to to be back in the. Uh, Back in KY. All right. See you there. Not the jelly, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. We might want to edit that. <laughs> Good people, movie. Movie. Right. Movie. <laughs> All of it, Marshall Freedom. That's just a little too big. Uh, Mark broke his finger. The green building. Oh man. Man's turquoise, I meant. Mark's here. Mark's here. That's more like this, right here. There you go. <laughs> Ding dong. <laughs> My three influences that you learn playing now. Big Flea fan, you know, playing a Red Hot Chili Pepper tribute. So love the Flea. Uh, go to Victor Wooten Land, you know, all the fun grooves he puts in things. And then uh, last but not least, uh, my first concert, first band I ever heard live, Les Claypool. That pretty much uh, changed things forever. So there's a little chance in the music here for something weird. I'll try to sneak it in. And those are not mine. Well, I grew up on Dylan. My dad was a big Dylan fan, so I grew up listening to Dylan until I was pretty much in high school. And then uh, kind of like the Pixies and Smashing Pumpkins and all that. And then uh, of late, I'm listening to, you know, then I went through a Wilco, love Wilco, got into, uh, into Sunbolt now. I love uh, Jason Isbell stuff and Drive By Truckers. And, um, that's, that's pretty much where I'm at. Some of the people who have influenced my playing are John Bonham, obviously. Um, I don't know if it comes across and you can feel it or hear it in what I'm playing. Um, and another one is Simon Kirk from Bad Company. He was like one of my original influences when I first started playing. Uh, and uh, I met Danny Carey once, which was kind of cool, so that's always a good thing to do. Um, but yeah, I try to play mostly what I feel, and, and uh, when I 
mostly been self-taught. I've had very few lessons, but I've had the opportunity to hang around some very influential people that have helped me quite a bit. So, would be Jimi Hendrix kind of fuses a little bit of everything together for me with this. You know, there's a little bit of uh, Almond Brothers and, and definitely the Stones, but I think kind of the vibe Hendrix brought to music kind of transcends and translates to to bridge a lot of this. So, I mean, I think he's probably the biggest influence.